Hello, 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 hello. My name is Alex, and welcome to my ASMR YouTube channel. I make soft-spoken ASMR long play videos with a variety of triggers such as controller sounds, keyboard sounds, rain sounds, and relaxing background music. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe for more. But without any further ado, Let's jump straight into the gameplay. So, in our last video, we had just completed the Zora's quest line. And now we're going to talk to Yona because it looks like she has a quest for us. Oh, Sir Link. Thank you ever so much for your noble efforts. I have been earnestly pondering what I can possibly do to thank you for saving the domain. However, Jaito found some ancient texts that mention the Zora griefs. It is said that those who wear them are gifted the power to swim in the water as they please. I am certain that such an item would be invaluable in your quest to locate Princess Zelda. I told Sidon and everyone in the, do in the domain that I hope to present this special gift to you. However, the grieves in question have still not been located. According to the text Jaito Fan, the Zora Grease were created long ago. It seems they were offered up at the ancient Zora waterworks as a prayer for friendship between the Zora and Hylians. Upon hearing that, I desperately searched there, but I wasn't able to locate them. I wonder where in the waterworks the Zora Greaves were offered. So let's go look for these greaves in the waterworks. I'm gonna take a quick teleport over there, see what we can find. Sidon's vow has granted you the power to summon his avatar. Alright, but I want to keep using Raiju. Wait, can I have both of them out at the same time? Oh, I guess you can. Interesting. All right, let's take a quick fly down. See if we can find the, the greaves of the Zora. It looks like it's right in the whirlpool. Is it downstairs? Like underwater? 
It might be underwater. I guess it is underwater. Alright, let's quickly look around. I'm surprised I missed them. I thought I looked around enough. Wait, I have a bunch of hearts now. I don't remember getting all these hearts, to be honest. But I guess I'm not going to complain about it. So where can they be hiding? Hope I don't slip. This place is very slippery. It's very dank. Damp. Damp, no, not dank. Well, now, is that not you, Link? Let me guess, have you also come here in search of a lovely new diving spot? If so, I have some heartbreaking news to share. This will be tough to bear, but I ask that you stay strong. There is no water here. None. I had hoped to break new ground by diving amid these solemn ruins. I was positively brimming with excitement. Alas, my, na my joy has was short-lived. When I arrived, the water suddenly retreated until I could see the ground beneath. A diver without water is like a bird without sky. It is a sad state of affairs, I assure you. I am battling terrible bitterness over this. The water has retreated so much you can see the ground beneath. How pitiful. When I arrived I heard a thunderous roar. It was as though the ground itself was crumbling, then the water retreated. As these ruins are quite old, I have wondered if perhaps a gaping hole has opened up somewhere. If only there was still precious water here, it would have been a glorious diving spot. So I think it opened up a new chasm. Let's see if my theory is correct. I think all the water went straight to the depths. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe not quite all the way down there. Please don't tell me there's gloom hands. Wait, with Raiju's power, we could take care of them pretty easily, I think. That is the wrong place.
But Zora weapons do so much damage when you get wet. It's kind of crazy. Let's see if we have any Zorai spear. <laughs> Looks like we do not, unfortunately. Let me trade this out. I've never used the luminous talus material. Let's mark this for future reference. So we know where. Where we can find some boss parts. So this is where I landed. Alright, let's go past the waterfall. There's the chest. The only thing left uh, would be the helmet. If there is a helmet somewhere. Maybe we gotta go talk to Yono again. And she'll tell us. I thought my swim speed was supposed to go up. Feels the same. Now right, let's go back. Talk to her. See if she's got anything else for us. Maybe somebody else has it. Alright, so... Oops, that is not what I meant to do. Let's jump out real quick. A floating place. I am sure that is what I heard, but... Link, how wonderful. You <clears throat> heard me talking to myself, didn't you? Since you are here, I could ask you something a bit... I must ask you something a bit odd. Have you heard anything about a floating place? Here's my tale. When my dear wife, May, went out fishing, she was singing this mysterious song to herself. I found a floating place where I'll catch fish with grace. I hop and I skip to a great fishing trip. And with that, my wife hopped and skipped over to the bridge in the east of the domain. At the time I paid it no heed, she is giving to songs of fancy. But her absence has started to weigh heavily on my mind. A floating place, a hop and a skip away. I have never heard of such a place. My wife is the type to rush off in a fit of excitement. I am worried, worried that she will do something rash. Oh, my beloved May, I dearly hope that she has not gone somewhere dangerous. A wife wafted away. And 
this is our general store. We were finally able to restock our fish. Thanks to his majesty, King Sidon and you, the courageous link. You really helped us out of a pinch. Anyhow, if you see something you like, please just grab it from the table. Unless you have some other business with me. Tell me and I shall not dwaddle. <clears throat> Perhaps I am not doing a sufficient enough job hiding my overpowering feelings about bright-eyed crabs. <clears throat> you see, I made a bright-eyed crab right around the time all of that moss nonsense with a sludge came to an end. I was unable to stock any fish because of the damage caused by the sludge. And then it appeared. It was a single glorious crab. It crossed my path while I was fussing and fuming. I was irritated, I was famished, and so... I swallowed it whole. Yes, the spikes were incredibly painful. But once I was able to transcend the pain, there was Mandic awaiting me. No, more like it was greeting me with a warm hug of savory umami goodness. It was the, th the tastiest thing perhaps ever. I am positively drooling just thinking about it. One or two is not enough. Not nearly. No, I need ten. Can you please give me ten of those de decadent bright-eyed crabs? Naturally, I shall make it worth your while. This transaction will surely keep me from becoming crabby. Sure, have ten crabs. Crabs galore. Just gazing upon them, I can feel that umami goodness washing over the intense pain in my mouth. You have my thanks. In fact, here, since this is our first crab trade, I threw in a little bonus. At that time, I will make a trade for some products that are equal in value to the number of crabs you shall out. A crabulous deal. Link, once again, you have done Zora's domain a great service. Thanks to the efforts of you and your young kin, Sidon, the domain has been saved. You must allow me to thank you. If you intend to go up against the various phenomena plaguing this world, you need a weapon that is up to the task. The light scale trident has been passed down through generations of the Zora. Since ancient times, it will not fail you. Bring me the necessary materials, and I will craft one for you with all due haste. You must acquire a Zora spear, three diamonds, and five pieces of flint. Return to me when you've required materials. Alright. A special spear. Very interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so... Is there anybody else? Hey Lenny, listen up. I found a super old story in an ancient manuscript while organizing the end's bookshelf with Finley. Here's the story from that ancient manuscript. Long, long ago, at Tarn Point, a blessed stone was hidden away within a sacred shrine. It was a magnificent shrine that was overflowed with blessings. See, it's clearly an ancient manuscript containing a timeless secret rite. I knew of all people an adventurer like you would understand. This is probably something left behind by my great 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 grandfather. It says the shrine is sacred, 
so there must be some truly amazing treasure there. As soon as she read this, my daughter finally declared she was off on an adventure to find the treasure. Before he knew what hit him, she had grabbed Sasa, and together they raced out of the domain. Finley is headstrong, to say the least. She'll be fine. But I'm a little worried about poor Sasa. Tarn Point is way off to the southeast of the domain, so it's pretty far. I hope they make it there safely. So many quests opening up. Where did Yona run off to? Oh, Sir Link. Just a moment. What is that upon your feet? Could those be the Xora Grease? Wow, so a large hole opened up with new waterworks. Draining the water? And the Xora Grease were at the bottom of that big hole. Extraordinary. After all that my Sidon has told me, I can safely say that it is so like you to find them on your own. May they prove useful to you during your novel travels. The Zora Grees are a symbol of the friendship between the Zora and Hylians. As such, it is the most fitting gift for you, as you are truly an irreplaceable friend to all the Zora of the domain. Speaking of irreplaceable friends, whenever my dear Sidon opens his mouth, chances are it is to speak of you, Sir Link. He'll say things like, Link is the best, and also, no task is unsurmountable when I am with Link. I feel a bit silly telling you this, but after all that has transpired, I truly understand how he came to feel that way. Sir Link, thank you so very much. That he has found a true companion in you makes me as happy as it does him. Zora's domain will always be with you, now and forevermore. Consider that a fervent promise. Please do not be a stranger, dearest friend of the domain. This simply will not do. I forgot to tell you. I asked Chroma and Kira to try to find some way to assist you. They are now investigating something additional to the Zora Greaves. The Zora Helm. I am certain that the helm will also prove useful to you on your journey. I hope you will speak with them about it. Wait, who did she say? Oh my god. I completely forgot. In summation, and to repeat myself, as an attendant of Queen Yona, it is paramount to demonstrate more self-awareness at all times and in every circumstance. You must behave in a way that it is is in no danger of reflecting poorly on her. Yes, I am ever reflecting on that. Indeed, your words ring true, Sir Link. Wherever are my manners? I was not quick to notice you had graced us with your presence. I am terribly sorry. Perhaps that is because you were so absorbed in lecturing me. Honestly, and the reason for that is your lack of progress in the task you have been entrusted with. The, the Zora helm we are to present to Sir Link seems to be stored in a sky fish. Queen Yona kindly provided you with that helpful information, yet you have done nothing with it. That is so. 
I desperately searched the river for the skyfish that ate Z the Zora hell, but I returned empty-handed. Pure silliness. It is unlikely that the Zora Helm was placed in an actual fish's stomach. I suspect you should be thinking of the skyfish as a metaphor leading to the place where the helm is hidden. You never listen closely to my guidance, which often results in these ridiculous misunderstandings. Help me, Sarlik. Link, your timing is impeccable, as ever, my friend. I have not discovered any new hints about your princess, I fear. However, I have stumbled across something fascinating. As I was diligently organizing texts relating to the royal family, I came across one of particular interest. The content regarded a sacred treasure, and at once I thought of you. This seems just your sort of thing, so intrigued. Oops. You never disappoint, do you? Yes. This is just what I expected of my dearest companion. In that case, I shall let you in on the mystery. There was a passage in the text I mentioned that went as follows. In the great Frisch, the eternal eternal guardian. A secret treasure awaits just beneath the stony form of its statue. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue. Leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. So, what do you make of it? It is like a good old-fashioned treasure hunt, is it not? That said, it was a very old book, so it is a questionable whether that secret treasure is still there, or ever was. However, if there is truth in those ancient words, this treasure might be of use to you. If you see fit, I encourage you to seek it. Oh my god, so many quests. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue. Beneath the long bridge. That reaches for the statue. Pass two waterfalls. Two waterfalls. Oh, Link, it is good to see you. I am, after all, indebted to you for your repair of the stone slate. Thanks to your efforts, the sludge has disappeared, meaning that I can resume my research. All of the stone monuments across the various Zora regions, including this one, were made anew. They were all th thoughtfully written by our beloved Prince Sidon. Oh, I meant to say our beloved King Sidon. If you ever see one during your travels, I encourage you to read it. Pass the two waterfalls. A stone fish. Two waterfalls. What could it mean? Where could the treasure be? Well, there's a giant fish here. And the waterfalls might be this, but I don't think so.
Is it supposed to be? The faster swimming speed doesn't feel very fast. That's one waterfall. But, well, let's see if it's behind this. I think I looked. What? I thought I had already looked. Interesting. Oh god, there's a chasm here. Well, let's explore before we jump in. Let's see. That was the first waterfall. So... The second waterfall has to be this. Maybe. Let's find out. Is that the treasure? I don't think that's the treasure. No way. Maybe there's something underwater. <laughs> oh my god. The current is crazy. Here. 
Down we go. What is this? Wait. <laughs> I've been here. I can't believe this was here. Interesting. Wait, these grandpas give a ton of materials or uh, a bunch of pose. I think I found a secret chest in this. You know, my swim speed doesn't feel that much faster. <clears throat> Who knows why? Maybe they lied to me. Placebo speed. Placebo swim speed. I think I will end this video here, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you did and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and turn on your notifications. See you guys.